My name is James Gore. I'm a Sonoma County Supervisor, and I'm here with Grant Davis, General Manager of Sonoma Water. We're overlooking Lake Sonoma out here, Warm Springs Dam. Grant, this is this is low as I've ever seen it this time of the year. What do you think? It is the lowest you've ever seen it this time of year. Man. That is critically low. Uh -huh. And as a result, we have to manage this and make sure that all of us at the Russian River Watershed, with your leadership, are helping us to conserve, reduce our demands, and find ways to use less water to make it through the summer. Man. Talk to us a little bit about how it works, because Sonoma Water is a wholesaler. We're not the retail entity that people get their bills from or see every day. So how are we going to see this drought kind of uh, reductions uh, go for the rest of the this summer? Yeah, that's a good question. So essentially for folks that are watching, uh, down to about Windsor South is the service area that we have. So mm -hmm. Windsor, Santa Rosa, Rona Park, Katati, down into Sonoma, down into Petaluma and North Marin. So mm -hmm. there's about eight contractors. Those are retailers that sell to individual customers. And so mm -hmm. we're providing this water through our aqueducts and that investment that we've all made to deliver that water supply. Mm -hmm. That is the challenge. So we did come to the board and got authorization to submit what's called a temporary urgency change petition. I know that's a long word, but it's basically asking the state to let us turn down the knobs at both Lake mm -hmm. Mendocino and Lake Sonoma to the lowest, just to allow fish and wildlife to make sure that they're, they're uh, getting enough water. To do this though, we offered up that we would take a 20% reduced diversion out of the, the Russian River mm -hmm. as a result and that's mandatory. Yeah. How the individual customers and the contractors meet that, they all have different local supplies. To get there, it's up to them, but together we're gonna get there. But that's a good point. And what, you, what we've done with Sonoma Water, I say you, but what we've done is in the past drought, uh, 2012 through 2000, about like 15, kind of middle of 2015, is that we put a lot of incentive programs out there with folks, uh, tried to help, help people be able to get uh, contractors, reduced rates to change appliances in their house. But what people can expect out in our community is, is that your direct water provider, whether that's the city of Hillsburg or the city of Santa Rosa or in a place like Larkfield, Wikiup, and in Geyserville, a private company called Cal American Water, that they're going to be saying, you got to let your, your lawns go dry. You can't do outdoor irrigation because they're the ones who have to meet the municipal requirement to have those reductions. So they're going to work with you all to do that. But the main thing is, is that you got to take action. This is not the year to have a plentiful garden. This is not the year to be uh, out there washing your car all the time, right? And do anticipate that if we don't meet those reduction targets, in a voluntary fashion, there will be mandates because this is supply and demand. This is not just about how much water is here. This is the fact that we can't just put our hopes that it's gonna rain come winter time, right? Absolutely. I mean, we gotta prepare yep. for the worst, hope for the best. Yep. Don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. As an example of that, right now we've got just under 150,000 acre feet of water. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a lot, mm -hmm. but we're gonna have to manage this supply to make sure that we don't get to 100,000 acre feet. At what happens if we get to 100? At 100,000 100, acre feet of water supply in this reservoir, mm -hmm. come January, we're looking at 30% mandatory reductions across the board. And that's in our bylaws, our yes. statutes, yep. our agreements with the retailers, right. other things. That's right. So that between now and then, we're going to the state to get permission to turn the knobs down, to go through and reduce diversions and ask our customers to get to 20% reductions. Hopefully, and I know we're going to get that response. Folks around here have done this yeah. before. The board's behind it. We're going to message it. Folks, they care, and they want to make sure that we we're able to make it through a very long, dry summer. Yeah. Well, this also is exacerbated by what we've gone through with fires, floods, yes. droughts, a much more flashy system, mean highs and lows, uh, big winds, big temperature changes. And this new reality we work in is all about building future resilience. So just, you know, uh, for folks who don't know, uh, under the leadership of Sonoma Water and Grant, we've gotten a multiple, multi-million dollar project into something called Forecast Informed Reservoir Operations. What that's allowed us to do is keep more 11,000 acre feet, potentially more in Lake Mendocino. That's made us more resilient this drought already. Uh, we're looking at more investments like that into our system. And we're going to do this, but we got to do it together. So at your house, right? plan that you already have to get down to 50 gallons per person per day and that might even get down to 25 30 it's going to be tough but really realistically about 50 percent of your water use normally is in outdoor kind of areas and we're going to have to cut that down we have to do this supply and demand yep. 
So thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, we got a plan for not only this year, but for this water supply, taking this 20% reduction so we don't go under 100,000 acre feet so that we don't get that mandatory one. Hopefully we get some rain this coming year, but we'll be prepared to go into next year if we need to. Absolutely. Yeah, good work. No doubt. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And to learn about current water supply conditions and more about the drought, go to sonomawater.org.